Bob Grinier, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. What we're looking at here is the quartz liner tube from Lion 1 reactor. And the thing that really struck me when I got this out just a few minutes ago is that uh, in the centre here, where presumably most of the action was going on, uh, obviously there's a break and this bit uh, joins up to that bit quite nicely. And essentially, all of the material that came out, uh, or the vast majority of it, uh, has actually uh, got this sort of uh, color variation uh, of this gray all the way through it, all the way through it. And uh, it's broken out. And the interesting thing is on the other side here, and I'll do some close-up photos, there appears to be a ring, uh, and on the ring there appears to be another ring with spots in it. So I'm gonna take up a close photo of that. So it would appear that there was uh, one of these uh, toroidal vortices uh, going on uh, around here and that that influenced the material. But I cannot even begin to tell you how striking the change is between the material that's affected and the other material. So I'm going to change the focal point here and just pull it into the camera. Uh, let's see if we can do this. So these two bits join together quite nicely. I'll do that at this distance. And this bit, I uh, can't remember where exactly it goes, but uh, I know maybe it's around this way. <laughs> uh, it goes on quite nicely to, I think it's somewhere here. Uh, there, I think it is. Is it there? Got that right? And there's a little slither that came out, which is again perfectly clear here. But I'm going to pull these right into the camera so you can see. Uh, let's just change the focal point here. Okay, so you can see here that this is very clear quartz on the cut line all the way around, all the way around. That is a little bit of a sort of darkening, but it's only just a surface effect here. There is another structure here, if I can actually get even in, even in closer than that. You can see there's one of our triangles, shapes, and it looks like a, a two vortices, smaller one, sort of interacted there, and it started to change the material. There's, there's some bubbling going on, it actually goes into the depth of the material. So we have again these counter-rotating vortices, and it goes into the depth of the quartz and uh, that is actually affected. It's almost, you can see it's cutting its way through right at that point. Okay, so that's a separate one. The rest of the material you can see here, uh, there's, a, there's a kind of track that goes along here and there's a, another sort of track. Maybe there's two points here, there's a, maybe it's a different one, slightly different one there. See what's starting to cut into the material. And so triangular double thing going on there. And you can see on the other side. But for the most part, it's completely not transformed. Uh, you can see how that's going through the material there at that cut line. And otherwise, it's a very clean cut. Now this piece, look at this. It's a circle, and at least one point around the circle, you have another circle that's going round. And a lot of the changes here to this, this green color, not so much just on the edge of this brake line, but you can see how the, the uh, brake line totally follows the point that's had the change done to it. Completely follows around right the way to the, the bitter edge. So nice curve there, nice curve there, comes around, comes around. And the change is absolutely through the, through the material and it's a coloration of the material. It's not a physical vapor deposition on the surface, it's something that goes through the bulk of the material and only affects the material it's affected. 
all the way around here, all the way around here. And you can see that this is probably some of the copper oxide. Again, you can see a circle there in the center. And this is quite interesting on the cut line here. So I'm going to get some good photos of this uh, to add context. So this is telling us quite a lot about what's going on. And again, it looks like that's clear, but actually that's just a very thin layer, and you could probably crack that off. I'm not going to do it because there's another fracture line there. Uh, looking at some of the other pieces, these are all of the affected areas. And again, it's all the way through the bulk of the material. This is not, I repeat, not a surface uh, deposition effect. And it's still smooth quartz on the outside. It's actually just changed the internal structure of the quartz. You see it's beautifully smooth, but it's through the entire body of the quartz in the affected area. And then we have the same kind of curve that we saw on our jewel. Uh, let's have a look at this piece. Right, so this is obviously uh, had some effect there. You can see some interesting stuff going on there. A little segment cut out there. And we have our through the material change here to this kind of greeny brown color. Um, and we have, ooh, we have a couple of structures there, which would be nice to get some close photos of. And uh, one little last piece here. There we go. And uh, that's there. And last one of these clear pieces. There we go, there's a clear piece. And it has a little affected area there. See how it starts to work through the bulk. Uh, and one little fragment here. As you can see, it's actually got some peripheral affected area there. That's a smooth cut. This has some sort of damage to it. Anyway, thank you for listening.